Oh, hey, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Mr. Fade right here, illmusic.com, Beats Weekly. Here we go with another episode. It's getting crazier and crazier, but for some reason, this week, there was only five beats. Five. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that. You know, we had four, but then Bounty P came in. He's like, yo, Fade, man, you Fade. And I was like, no, man, you have to wait till tomorrow, you know, or I should say next week, you have to wait till next week and stuff. He's like, oh, come on, man, I got this beat, man. I got these cheeseburgers, man. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So he uploaded his beats, and we got five beats, which is actually kind of good because, you know, YouTube, they got this limit of 15 minutes. So it really sucks for me because I got to keep, you know, splitting the video and stuff, and it's uh, a bit of a pain and everything like that, but... Uh, Anyway, so we got five beats. First up is 420 Beats, who actually just changed his name to. Mr. Banana, I think. Yes, he just changed his name to Mr. Banana, that's it. Mr. Banana with Rain and Mud, check it out. Okay, that was Mr. Banana. No, just kidding. 420 Beats, which is actually uh, Just Ripe, his new name, with Rain and Mud. Now, this beat was really good. It's actually, when I was listening to it, it was like I was saying, you know what, this is a beautiful track. I mean, I really like this. Really good. The soul sample, the strings, it's it's awesome. And the, uh, uh, the fret, well, I mean, it didn't have a, a, a change up, really. Uh, but you know what? I didn't give a shit because I was like, yo, this beat is fucking dope, you know? And um, uh, it's just the, the, the highs on the kick, I guess you could say, is it was a little too hollow for me. Um, but still, everything fit nicely, and uh, I really like this track so far. It's, uh, it's the first beat, and uh, it's already number one. Let's see what happens next. We got Bounty P, the latecomer, who just submitted his beat to the last, last, last second. He's got Walking the Line. I hope it's not a country song, eh? I fucking like country, man. Oh, what's this? Just thought I'd throw that in there, you know, let you guys see this shit, you know. This is the shit of what, machine? I mean, you guys, whoever doesn't have this, man, go and get this thing, man. I mean, I'm not making crazy beats on it right now because I'm, I'm busy with the website and with the new website. But the beats I am making on this, man, it's like it's just changed it for me, man. I know, I'm not talking about, uh, this isn't a, a machine show here. 
But my point is, the point is that it's good shit. Okay, you should get this. Anyway, that was Banny P with "Walking the Line." Now that sample threw me off at first because I was like, "It sounds like some cheesy shit," you know. And um, but then the beat drops in. I'm like, "This is a tight mix. I really like this. The mix is really good, and the sample, you know what? It fit really nice." And to me, this and the 420 beats are, are just right. I guess it's 420 beats. This and the just right beat, it's it's neck and neck, man. This is this is the shit. You guys are getting better and better, man. Next up, we got Fat Dan. Now it's spelled F A T, right? So I don't know if like this guy, if, I don't know if you're really really fat, or if you're fat, like yo, that's fat. I'm assuming I don't know. I'm assuming you're fat because F A T. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with that, you know. Hey, but you know, if it's yo, that's fat, then it should be P H. AT. Whatever. And this is awesome, man. I mean, I don't know if this is a mistake or whatever, but the song is called Song. I mean, how cool is that, man? Fat Dan. Yo, what's the name of your song? Song. No, what's the name of it? Yeah, the song. What's the name of it? It's Song, motherfucker. Fat Dan. Song. Fat Dan was song. Okay, now this track, it was a little short. Uh, it was a little short, this, the track you submitted. Um, but it's, um, I so I didn't have too much to go on. But the, um, it just seemed all over the place for me. I mean, the the drums are good though. I like the, the, I mean, the sound of the drums. I like the sound of the drums that you picked. Um, but the um, the pattern was everywhere. The hat was, was very high. Um, and the sample, I wasn't feeling at all. I'm sorry, the sample was just like, uh, like, like the drum pattern was all over the place. So I don't know where you're going with that. I would say stick with those drum sounds you picked, but get a nice flow going to, to tie in with the sample because uh, the sample wasn't the greatest, but it should also at least go with the drums. So, but, but stick with the drum sounds. I like the drum sound. Next up, we got Hex Prod, which I think is Hex Productions with Armada Rap. And before we fly on to that, check this out. For those that don't know, Compton's Most Wanted. Who took me under? This is one of the first pieces of vinyl, uh, hip hop vinyl I ever got. It's, uh, it's a nice piece of vinyl. I just thought I'd take it out today and just show it. And uh, if you don't like it, Go fuck yourself. Check it out.
See, this week I was going to have some funny shit to have on the show, like uh, some funny glasses or a funny hat. Or pick my nose. Something like that. But, uh, you know, I just kind of got thrown off because I'm busy with the um, Ill Music Records site and all that stuff, you know. So, fortunately, I don't have these little gimmicks I could, you know, show you today. But uh, I could do this. So that was Hex Pride with Armada Rap. And um, I really like this, the way it started. It's like I wanted to punch somebody in the face. It was like this militant thing, you know. It was like it kind of reminded me of um, kind of like Gladiator in a way. Like, you know, like Russell Crowe's about to kick my fucking door open any second now. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was when uh, you, you brought the pitch up a level. That threw me off. You should have kept it at the other level, the main, and just, just keep it going like that. Have some kind of just some drum breaks or something like that. Um, other than that, though, nice beat, man. I like this. Makes you want to punch somebody. And that's a good thing. So now the last beat, because unfortunately we only have five beats this week. I don't know what's up with you guys. I mean, what the fuck? You know, like, how many times I got to post this on the website? Like, come on. Post your beats, man. Just upload them. What the fuck is the problem, man? Are you scared? You scared I'm going to diss your beat or something like that? Hey, man. That's life. Deal with it. Last but not least is uh, Skid Flow. Once again, submitting a track. With the shit man. That's what it says, man. It says... The shit man right here. I mean, are you trying to fuck with me or something? The shit. I mean, what is it like? Yo, that's the shit man. Or is this? I'm the shit man. How can I help you today? Anyway, skip flow. The shit man. Let's check it out. Okay, that was Skid Flow with the shit man. The shit man. The shit man. Whatever. So, uh, anyway, this track uh, started off a little slow. The drums were a little dry for me. Whatever that means. Uh, but then, once everything started coming together with the bass, and then you had a nice synth coming out. I like the synth, the synth because um, that's what gave it like a, like a West Coast feel or something like that. So I could see some kind of West Coast rapper over this track for sure. Um, a little slow moving the beat, you know, like it's, I mean, I know that's the way you, you made it, but uh, to me it was just a little, a little slow going for my taste. Okay, shut up, Fade, right? Okay. But uh, no, it's a good track. I like it. And uh, that's it. That was number five, and that's it for this week. Five tracks, man. Are you shitting me? Five, five tracks. Okay, that's it for Beats Weekly this week. I'm Mr. Fade, right here, right here, right here. Illmusic.com, go there, upload your beat to Beats Weekly for next week. Just upload it this time, okay? Get it up there so I can review the shit out of it. And we'll do this all over again. Now here's your winner.